Welcome to another Chrysalis walkthrough. Chrysalis is the premier church child theme for Divi. This walkthrough covers some of the many advanced integrations that are used in Chrysalis. Two in particular. First, we're going to talk about the GiveWP integration, and then we're going to talk about the events calendar integration. So let's start with GiveWP. So GiveWP is the most popular donations um, plugin. And it's really good out of the box um, unless you wanted to do some advanced features uh, like have recurring donations or that sort of thing. Then it gets a little pricey. But we've made it work pretty well right out of the box um, for Chrysalis. If you don't want to use it, you could always employ another, a different donations plugin and just uh, take out um, this integration and put the new one in. So we've given you kind of two samples here on the um, donate page. We just have your general fund giving. And then we have uh, what a capital campaign might look like. The capital campaign has a goal that you're trying to reach. <clears throat> and of course, if you click on one of these, then it tries to take the rest of your information. Uh, Give WP works with pretty much um, any prominent payment processor. Uh, again, if it's not so prominent, you can pay for an extension to get one. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to note when setting up this um, test content. So it's really hard to get the IDs um, to match when you're importing into a new site. You don't have a lot of control over what the, the IDs for these different donation forms are going to be. And so you're basically going to um, want to look at the test data in the GiveWP forms, figure out the ID, and then you're going to want to plop that ID in these uh, code modules so that they match. So here you can see this is form ID um, 240263, but it'll likely be different when you import your test data. So just change this number to um, the form that was imported. Same with this. They This one will go to the default one, so you'll see that, but you won't see this one until you get the actual uh, form ID in there. All right, let's go take a look at the back end. So I'm going to go to donations. And then I'm going to go to all forms. And you can see the two forms that we've set up, the capital campaign um, and the one for the operational campaign. and. If I scroll over these view, uh, if I scroll over the edit, you can see down there, it's really tiny, but you can see in the bottom the post number for these so that you can get that. Or you can just copy the short code here, I guess. Hey, that's much easier. Okay, there's one other important thing I need to show you about these forms. So over the years, Give has changed the way that they display their forms. Um, their new way actually uh, is really hard to edit the CSS for. And so you want to make sure that you're using the legacy um, donation form style for these forms. Uh, the legacy style lets us get at the CSS, which is how I was able to make uh, the form blend so seamlessly with r the rest of the styles on your site. All right, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you with GiveWP. Uh, next, let's look at the events calendar. So not only are we using the basic uh, events calendar plugin, we're also using TEC events list, which is a third party plugin, which gives us some flexibility in how we're displaying the, the calendar. Um, over the years, we've come to like the list view better uh, than the calendar view. 
um, for events at your church. But if you have a ton of stuff going on, the, the, the monthly calendar view is probably better. And we've styled um, this event's calendar to match seamlessly with the look of your site, with one exception. Uh, it's really hard to get the header to work. And so unlike all the other pages on the site, the events calendar does not have a header. Uh, this is because the events calendar dynamically generates this main events page, and it's really hard to get the theme builder to work with it. You can see an individual event. Again, we've styled it to, um, to match the look and feel of some of the other pages on the site minus the header. On the home page, you can see um, the events list uh, in use. This has also been heavily styled. This isn't the out of the box look for this plugin. Um, we've tried really hard to give it this unique style where it's going sideways and you get a nice list going down by date. Let's look at the back end. Um, so in the uh, event settings in display, you'll see that I'm using the tribe event styles and the default event templates. That's the ones whose CSS I've, I've tweaked. So you're going to want to make sure that you're set up that way. And all of our menus in the or um, and the imports is set to key off of forward slash events. Um, there is a possibility that um, that your events link won't show up in your main menu because it, it didn't create them in the right order. And so you might just need to create another custom URL link to forward slash events in your menu to get it to work. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you with our advanced integrations. Thank you for checking out this walkthrough for Chrysalis, the premier church child theme for Divi. Please check out all of our other walkthrough videos or visit faithspring.com for more information.